Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's Click Stars Quick Pick. Today, we are talking about the Chitauri. And once again, I'm with here, Troy. Hey. And Troy has played a couple games with the Chitauri now, and I've witnessed the fury in which their perplexes can unhail yeah. upon somebody. Uh, on frail. But uh, yeah, so these guys are nastier than we thought. Oh yes, much, much nasty. Uh, while their defenses aren't necessarily high, some of them don't need it, and you need to have at least, at least two war leaders, I would say. Because they are special in the fact that, for some reason not on his first click, he's special because not only do they have 11 attack and 3 damage for 80 points, they also have transporter, and flight on the clicks where they have that speed power, which is invaluable because none of the Chitauri fly, and they need to get around. And you want to lump them with at least one other Chitauri anyway because they have leadership and perplex, and they can use perplex twice if they remove a token from a Chitauri with leadership. Which you were very uh, successful of doing with... Gotta get a little lucky with it. I think it. I saw you roll at least four leadership rolls yeah. in a row. Yeah. Um, that was ridiculous. But, gotta be lucky with any aspect of this game. So let's just point out the sculpts here. Here are the, uh... They're all the same. Yeah. They got little Mega Blasters. Chitari. I still don't understand why in the, the, the uh, movie Avengers, why they all, you know, died at once when they lost contact with uh, the ship. That's, that's Any, yeah. Um, so yeah, no. uh, we losing focus here. <laughs> yep, just a little bit. Uh... These are the regular guys. Uh, they're very interesting because they're range base, and when they're within eight of the ward leader, they get plus two range and sharpshooter, so they can always use that range combat expert. Then again, they're only doing two damage, and they only have nine attack, so you kind of need the boost from the ward leaders to help them out. Now, this guy is the same amount of points. Right, He's 40 points. Later. He has stealth. He has his attack power is if he's within eight of a war leader, he can use perplex, but he can only modify opposing characters and he can't modify damage, which is still great if you need that extra one in defense where you can break their defense. He also has scroll and shape change at the same time, and later on his dial he has those two and super senses. They walk him three chances to avoid an attack. I have had it to where I have perplexed up his damage to a 5 with one of the war leaders, and then perplexed his attack up with the other one, and being able to do 5 or 6 damage with a 40 point piece yeah, that's is ridiculous. a tad bit ridiculous. These mooks have definitely got, <laughs> from the Guardians of the Galaxy set, have shown a lot of versatility when it comes to how they use Purple X and how they use various other abilities like Hands Outwit, like Rigelians with the Outwit, and then these guys with Perplex. We've got a, like a, a singular theme going on that each piece kind of like emphasizes on a certain aspect of a changer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the only downside to these guys, I would say, is with the exception of the war leaders, the others do have very hittable defenses. And the other obvious downside is that without the war leaders, they're going to have trouble moving around because they don't fly or anything like that. The war leaders are flying transporters for a little while. Which is great, so that means you can carry your Chitauri where you need them, and then even shoot afterwards with move and attack. Who cares if you have 9 attack at the end of it all? Yeah. Well, 9 <coughs> attack is still respectable. I'm noticing a lot of these pieces in the Guardians of the Galaxy set are showing... Uh, there's a lot of instances where we're seeing, like, 15 defense or 16 defense. 9 is not that bad now. Against other moves. Against other... Well, no, even against some other some pieces. Some characters I mean, do, yeah. You're, you're going up against some higher pieces that, although they might have energy shield deflection or combat reflexes, you put yourself in the right position and you're doing some serious damage. Uh, starting off with an 11 attack with these Warlords and uh, the various other abilities and in 18 defense with Invulnerable. I, a solid 80 point piece on them by themselves, yes. but throw them in this this little mook pyramid here, and this is what 300 points. That's a 300 point. This team. is a very good 300 point team. We, we saw these up against like Green Lanterns. They held up very well against Sinestro Hal Jordan at 300 points. They got a little lucky with the rolls, but they did do five damage to Sinestro Hal at full power. And that's within a, like a 30 minute match. That yeah. Really quick. Setup. Really quick. But. Uh, 
Jeez. These guys are very strong. I, I definitely recommend these guys from what I saw you playing. And you definitely want to press the attack. You don't want to try to be defensive with these guys because if you let your opponent get the first strike, you're probably either, if you don't lose one of your people, they're going to be really beat up and they're not going to be nearly as useful. If you can find someone in here that shares a keyword with them that has defend, let me see their uh, they keywords. They all have soldier and they all have, Oh, you find someone with a soldier keyword, grants you're going to break your uh, name theme. You're, you're going to break your name theme. But if you find a soldier <laughs> with the uh, defend and bring all their defenses up to 18, that's scary. Yeah, it is. Uh, but again, maneuverability is a, is a is an issue unless you have the war leaders rock, rocking around, and eventually they lose their flight yeah. if they take enough damage. But if, if you play them right, the war leaders they can attack, but they never should be attacked because they're more worried about the forty point piece that just did six damage to their friend. So, anyways, the the mooks we're, we're determining. We've got like two mook sets left. We've got the Spartoi and we've got the Badu, uh, the, no, the Alpha Primus. Alpha Primus. We're going to combine those together because Since really, they're the Spartoi are only Jason and uh, the Elites, and the Alpha Primitives are pretty much just the Alpha Primitives and Maximus. Yeah. So, since they're so small and they're not really their own cohesive team, unless you have a lot of them. We're just going to lump them together for a quick pick. Yeah. But I'm noticing with a lot of these mooks, <coughs> they're really bringing out the players. Yes. The players' uh, quality of style. You can't, it's not just, with the exception of maybe the Space Knights, where it's like you play the Space Knights, it's kind of a no brainer how to use those. Yeah, you just go in and wreck stuff. But these, these are, I think these are good training pieces because when you bring this, you're teaching a person about a certain aspect of how power works. Like if you bring the Chitari, you're going to know how Perplex works. If you bring the Regillian, you're going to know how Perplex or how, how it works. works. Yeah. If you bring, if you bring the Kree, you're going to learn a lot about power and enhancement. Yeah. And leadership. And leadership. So <coughs> this set has been, I think, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy has been a very good training set. If you were to want to get a friend in on Heroclix, now would be a good time. Go down to your local comic book or game store and pick up some of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Because I honestly, so far from what I've seen from this set, it is an amazing training set. Oh, yes. And uh, I've always been a fan of uh, generic teams that aren't just, you know, a two big bad people there are a bunch of people and this is really giving me the opportunity to do this um i i have to say so far unless the spatoi really impressed me the kree have gotten such a power boost in this oh sense. well the, the kree and this is basically they might as well call this instead of humans the, the, the subset they should have called it the kree subset there's just so many free <laughs> options. Today we got we picked up you know Rog in our final match here today, and uh, but we saw today which we might talk about this in the future Minerva and, and Atlas and together. Atlas together. Uh, so anyways, that is the Chitari. <laughs> Went yeah. off a little uh, side <laughs> there, but you know what's to come. Uh, if you want to see future videos, feel free to subscribe. Come visit us down at Morningstar Games in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, like. Uh, tell us what you think of these uh, pieces, and we're interested in hearing what you have to say. Uh, what's to come? Prizes. Uh, I've got more prizes to come with cover events and whatnot, and uh, more reviews on clicks. Um, if you guys don't mind, since we are coming to the close of our MOOC series, um, I think it would be a good idea if you guys would maybe put some suggestions in for other series you might want to see. Out of quick picks. Yeah, what what hero clicks would you like to see? Maybe something <laughs> older. Uh, just gonna say, Troy's dad here has been collecting clicks for since the start. Forever. Infinity he's Challenge. got a lot of them. Yeah. He's got a very short list of what he needs to complete his collection in both Marvel and, and DC. DC. And then we've got a guy here that pretty much has everything from the Marvel all the way up to Guardians of the Galaxy. You can probably guess who that guy is. Yeah, which if you watch our other videos. Yeah. So we do not have a shortage of clicks. No, not at all. So once again, Okay, uh sorry guys. Uh we kind of got caught off by a phone call. So here's the actual ending of the video. Troy over there. Hi. Hi. So yeah, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to come down to Morningstar Games, come down to Morningstar Games. We'll probably give you some free stuff just for showing up. And feel free to comment and see. Uh, let us know what you want to see in the next quick pick. Until next time. I should get cleared to come back.